And welcome back, people who survive for seven days. And speaking of surviving for seven days, it's day 48. We have a day to make some amendments to our defenses. So I'm your host, Get Good Fox, and that's exactly what I'm planning on doing today. I came up with a new idea, actually. I'm going to build on to the Twitch idea I had and further revise some things. So over here, we're going to make some cement. I went out and farmed basically 6,000, um, what do you call it, stone overnight because, you know, I figured we would need it. And um, I'm pitching in basically a bunch of, uh, I can't even think of the word. I'm pitching in a bunch of the, uh, the, the clay as well because, like, I feel like we need to reload on them. One of the things I need to do real fast is we need to go over here and grab some water. So what am I going to do to... Uh, honestly, I think the defenses are pretty good as they are. Not going to lie. I think they are decent. But I do think that we can do a little bit better. And, um... You know... Of course. Why not? Alright, let's get you out of the water. There we go. Okay, so the defenses... The strategy I used, it might have worked a little too good. Uh, you know, better better than I wanted it to work. And basically, we I did eventually get the turrets to work. But the thing is, the turrets don't give you any EXP when they kill things. And while it was great, you know, it did a great job, I don't think the enemies were so challenging that we actually needed them. And as a result, we were losing a ton of EXP. So here's what we're going to do. I want to reposition these electrical posts because my new idea is what if we reposition the electrical posts in a way where the line is going through the, what do you call it, um, the blade traps. Oh, I got to repair this one. I guess it got banged up when I wasn't looking. That's fine. So what we need uh, to repair these are our hammer. I checked the recipe. We still do not have the um, the nail gun recipe, unfortunately. But what can you do? I'll need some electrical components. Basically, what the deal is here is I'm not allowed to pick an item up off the ground or a stru I can't pick structures off the ground if they are damaged. Even with one damage, I still have to, like, repair it first. I guess it's to prevent you from just, like, picking up items and putting them back down. Like, oh, look, they're magically repaired. Or it's to prevent the game from having to uh, keep track of, like, every single individual thing's repair status. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to get our frames out, and we're going to use these to measure... Put one here, here, so right about here. So that means we want a fence post here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Let me get some more materials to do this. What we're going to do is drill them into the dirt. And that's because just in the case something explodes, they'll be... It means the platform they are on won't, like, sink into the ground. Happy to see all this cement amassing. Let's go ahead and get our cement doing something useful. So to make cement, we need the mix, and then we need uh, stones and sand. How much can we make? We make about 440, so let's make 220 over here, and then we'll make another 220 over there. Okay, so we will need cobble. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more cement than this. This is like probably enough to get the work done. But it's not, it's definitely not ideal. It's all good, though. We're going to make it happen. Okay, so let me go ahead and move this here. Let's get our fence posts out. We may need even more fence posts after, after, due to the fact that we're spacing them out. So let's go ahead and drill down one. And that looks fine to me.
Oops, yeah, that's right. We don't need to go that far. I'm not doing... Okay, there we go. We install one of those. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and do this. And then I'm going to install... Like that. And then I'm going to do a pole in the middle. And what's going to go there is a light. Let me see if we've got any lights. If we did, we should. Maybe I can build some as well. That's also a possibility. I would prefer the industrial lights if we have that option. But we may not have them. So we have regular light bulbs. That is okay. I would like something a little better than that. Here, oh, we can make industrial light bulbs. Alright, that's good news. So let's go over here, grab more of these. Let's make about 10 industrial light... Industrial light... Let's make about 10 of them, I'd say. Let's start with 8. If I need to build more, I'll build more. We can come back for those later. Let's continue on. Now, the light bulbs are going to, one, illuminate the area, obviously. The other thing they're going to do is they're going to make it easier to find the fence posts if I need to go out and repair them in the middle of an attack. Right? Because it can get really, it gets really dark, right? And because it gets dark, it can be hard to see. Looks good. Looks good. All right, so we're going to drill right here. Let's move them like... Like that. Oh, refuel. Put one there, and then we'll put one here. And then we can upgrade. This is why we're gonna need more concrete as well, because you know, we'll be you will be using a few poles. That's going to be a thing. So yeah, like I said, this will have double functions in the sense that let's see. Uh, oh, we can, let's get our wire cutters out. We're gonna need the wire cutters for um, to make sure that we're we're doing everything correctly. Because like I know that the distance is too long, so we're gonna have to put something in the middle. I, I'm pretty certain about that. Uh, where are my wire cutters? That they're probably in here. Okay, so we're getting yet another tool out. Fortunately, uh, I'm, one thing I'm glad about is that we don't actually have to build wires. That's convenient. Alright, let's see. I know this can't go all the way. Yeah, that's, there's no way that's going to go all the way. So it looks like we'll probably need... Let's see if we can... Get, let's, let's just build. Let's see where we can manage to sneak it in. So here's the deal. We can't build it too close to certain things. It can't be right... In, basically, it can't be right next to... Okay, that's a little too far. We can't quite see it. How far is it going to let me go? This is as far as it'll let me go. And yeah, that's a little out of my visual range. Um, that could be a little bit of a pain. Let me recover this. Yeah, so that's as far as I can take it, which means right about here is as good as it's going to get. And that's kind of annoying because it means like, um, I don't think it'll make it to the other side. But let's just prototype it first. Oh. Yeah, it's just out of range. Oh, it makes me sad. 
which means we're going to need another fence post. And the fact that we need more fence posts means we need to spend a little more resources. But as you can see, it looks like there's no reason it shouldn't work in the sense that you can see where the blue line is going right through it. So the zombies could get stuck like right here and then they could get chopped up repeatedly. So that means we're probably just going to have to build more of everything. It's not going to be very pretty looking, but... Now it'll easily make it to each one. Okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, like I said, it does go right through it, though. And like, let me go ahead and turn on the system. I think you'll see that with the system on, it's not going to damage the wires or anything. The wires should be exempt. Like, I think they just count as, like, a block of air, essentially. Yeah, it doesn't do a darn thing to them. I think it's worth it, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Not the ideal shape, but, you know, what can you do? Hopefully I can make more fence posts. Oh, thank God I can. Uh, let's make, like, maybe four of these. Cause like we don't need too many, we just need a few more. We kind of need like more in the middle to like extend the range. And what I'm gonna do is, oh, let's get our industrial lights. Eh, one thing at a time. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I like the positioning of these. So what I'm gonna do is this. I want them to fall into the ground. So I'm just going to put a block here to kind of like stabilize them, to kind of like basically glue them to it. And when I do that, I can then drill that out. Like so. Because as long as they're attached to something, they will defy gravity. And I'm okay with that. Gravity to me is overrated. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, where do I want the lights to be? Do I want the lights here? Yeah, I guess we'll do it. I mean, I won't know if it's a bit, like here. There, there's certain I, I this idea I haven't tried yet, so I don't even know if I'm gonna like the idea until I give it a shot. And if I don't like it, oh well. You know, we used up a little bit of concrete or something. Whatever. What am I going to do? Get mad about it or something? Nonsense. Um, let's try pull. And then, like I said, we'll put our nice light bulbs here. And that will tell me where the fence post is. You might wonder, like, is it necessary? I mean, it's probably not necessary. But that's one of the troubles I ran into was I would go down and I would try to... Uh, I would try to, like, repair the system, and I just couldn't do it because it was like, wow, man, it sure is dark, and I can't see where I'm going. Would be nice. All right, here we go. Put one here, put one there, and there's the corner right here. All right, same concept. looks good to me now the good news is I'll, I'll worry about their orientation after we figure out how far they need to go so I know all the square is an, it, it the square has just as much direction in any way so like I don't see why it would we'd be able to we, yeah we can't cheat the system it's not gonna work that way so let's just go ahead and put one here and I guess we'll put one here and then that should connect them all together. So yeah, I'm probably going to need eight. Because we're basically we're adding like two. Like so. That looks nice to me. And now we can do the same thing.
And now that I know that I want um, a block here, I can just do this. Once we got the shape of, once we know what the shape is supposed to look like, it's not that bad. We can go through it pretty rapidly. A lot of it thanks to the auger. Let's go ahead and add the poles. Poly, 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 poly. There we go. Let's knock these down. This is also why I wanted to make more concrete. Because like I said, I knew I knew we would be need a little bit extra. And in my mind, I was kind of like, you know, I bet there's going to be a situation where the, the length of the cable isn't going to work. I wasn't sure or not, but I felt like just imagining it, like without even being in the game, just kind of imagining the shape of it. I was like, you know, I bet it's not going to quite work. Now the good news is that we already have, um, this is the big corner here that's gonna like kind of put everything together. So back to cubes. Right there. Okay, so we're gonna put one here. Once again, make sure it's centered correctly. And then we're gonna put one here. And then the same concept, we're probably going to wind up putting one here. They can't be right next door. It doesn't matter, like, as long as they're not next to each other, it'll work. Basically, it can't be right here, because you see how I can't put a block there? It won't let me. Basically, you can't be right where the blade would be. Like, it, eats, uh, it basically occupies that spot. And then we might as well put one here. And then we can put one here. Then let's switch to pole, and then we might as well do the other side while we're at it. Then we'll know how many more extra components we need to build. Oh, I just thought of something too. I, I don't think you're allowed to close the circuit, so I'm gonna need to be a little careful on one of the ends. I'll have to do something a little fancier. Ah, oh, she heard. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, look at this. They're just summoning radiation zombies whenever they feel like it now. I don't think I appreciate that. I kind of like how they, they, you know, they keep things a little, keep me on my toes a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, another treasure map. Don't mind if I do. I do like a good treasure map. Get plenty of ammo from those. Alright, let's get this upgraded. Wait, oh no, that's fine. Oh man, I thought I blew it. I thought I blew it. But fortunately, I didn't. I mean, we also get a little bit of EXP from upgrading all these blocks, so it's all good. Oh, now we're finally out of concrete. That's all good, though, because like I said, we've been actually getting more concrete prepared. So let's go in here and pull out more of the con- making more cement. There we go, let's get some more going. That cement doesn't go very quick, does it? Over here, we got some more. And let's go ahead and throw some more in. So we got 586, what, that's about 540 each. Oh, not 540. It's like 320-ish. 
Or it's like, I don't know, it's like 250, 250-ish, 275. Yeah, close enough. It doesn't have to be even, Steven, it just needs to be like, it, needs, it just needs to be good enough. That's all that matters. It's good enough. Let me go get our stuff over here. We got some more posts. We might need a little more than that, but I don't need to build uh, much in the way of extras. We just need to make sure it works. All right, so this is probably where we're gonna unite the electrical traps. So let's put one here. Like, I, do, I don't like the orientation, like the facing, but I'm just trying to get it all to work right now. Then we'll, then I will take it all down and we'll make it look all nice and make it look pretty and make it look beautiful, but one thing at a time. So boom. 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 All right, so that all looks good, and as you can see, once again, it does go through it very nicely. Now what we can do is do the final area. The final area is gonna be a little different because we need to make sure there isn't a gap in the electrical fence, but I know how to do that. That's fine. So what we need to do is make a cube. We'll put one here. Yeah, we can put one there. And then we'll put one here. And uh, let's go ahead and I'll add more to it like let, uh, in a moment. Let's just kind of get the basics of it set up. Poles. So all of these poles are going to end, terminate in light bulbs, and the light bulbs will need electricity, meaning we may need to create another generator to fit all of it. Incoming enemies. Really? The conflict. They were not kidding. Wow. None of them are running, though, so... Let's introduce these fools to the Stabberoni! I'm not even, like, going to a POI and I'm fighting, like, a humongous amount of zombies. Holy crap. Get out of the way, Discount Cortana. The fact that she's on fire tells me that she's not dead. Huh, a little extra EXP. I'm, I won't say no to it, right? All right, let's get these upgraded. And then over here. Let's plop these down. Wire them up. Now here's where it's not gonna work. It won't let us wire this up. See, doesn't do anything. So what we're gonna do instead, I have a way to win. I tried, like I said, I tried this on Twitch and it did work. Like, I think the issue, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I believe the rule is I don't think you can possibly complete the circuit, and I'll tell you why I don't think you can. Basically, the way it works is the circuits all need to be going in the one direction, and um, I think it counts this as opposite directions, because like I don't think it'll work the other way around either. Like, let me try it. I don't think it'll let me go this way. Or maybe it will. Yeah, so when I did this, you see it removed that one. It's because we've got one coming in from, like, let's just use the left and right. So we have the energy is coming from right to left. So it's coming in from the right side. 
And then we have the energy coming from the left side, and that's when it disconnects it. So what we're going to do to win, because we always want to win, is go like that. And then all we're going to do is put a fence post right here. There we go. Now we get to win. <laughs> Goes. There you go. Goes right through it. Now, of course, it does mean it's going to use up a little more electricity. There's no doubt about that, but it's going to work. That's all that matters to me is that it works. So let's start uh, plopping in these lights. I don't think the orientation matters. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we're probably going to need more lights. Now, all of these lights are going to use up electricity, so I might be required to mess around with... Basically, so the way it works is each generator has a maximum output of 300 watts. And if we look at these, we can see this thing here eats up 5 watts. Now, that's not too bad, but these things here, they eat up 20 watts. So they go through electricity pretty fast. So we ran out of light, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4. We need 4 more. So let's go ahead and get 4 more ready. And then we're probably going to need the dis... Oh, this thing isn't needed anymore. So this was an extra. So yeah, this... this I don't think that worked, but it's okay. We've got a... Um, like I said, I've got a, a different strategy for it. Also, we're not doing this this way any... Well, we might do it that way. Let's remove these, though. I've got a different way that we're going to do all of the relays. So I'm going to reclaim some of these. Let me go ahead and make... Uh, I think we need four more. Four more of those. And the way we're going to do it is... We're going to... Let me go get some more relays. Hopefully we have enough. Oh, we've got plenty. Don't even have to worry about that. So here's the way we're going to do it. One of the generators will... They'll be connected. We have, They have to be on separate... They have to be separate circuits, basically. We can't combine them together. So one of the one of the generators will be corner locations, and the other generators, the uh, what one generator will be the corners, and one generator will be the like the ones in the middle. And that's how I'm going to separate them. If I have to add even more, then maybe I will paint the block they're on in order to like remember. But um, I'll show you how it's going to work. So right now, this thing is using up a good bit of power. We're using about 246. We might need to rewire the entire thing. So let, yeah, let's go ahead and just steal all of these back. Actually, I was told there was an easier way to do it. I was told that if you just left click it, it would disconnect them. Huh. Yeah, it does do that. Okay, I guess it only disconnects from certain ones. I see. Yeah, it's disconnecting from the main one. Basically, well, the reason I'm doing that, you might be wondering, oh, why are you doing that? The reason we're doing that is because we have to make sure that the system is balanced. Like, I, I, I have to know the, the load on the wattage. If I don't know the load on the wattage, then, well... That will be unpleasant. So all we're going to do is just disconnect these and start over again. Because like I said, we can't, we can't let these get mixed up. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay. One more side to do. Okay, so here's what we got to do. First, I want to get the electrical fence running with all the light bulbs. Then what we'll do is see how much electricity is, how much wattage is available on the generator. And we'll hook up a few of the, um... We'll hook up a few of the, what do you call it, um... You know, the blade traps. So one thing at a time. So this one, we can shut this off. That's fine. Shut these off. 
Okay, so this one is going to feed the corners. So what we're going to do is go like this. And it's just going to feed the corner locations. So we go like that to the corner locations. We go like this. Now you could come with, with your own, you know, system. Like I said, maybe you could like paint the ground and it'll tell you could color code them or something. But basically you can't, we can't allow the wire, we, they have to be separate systems basically. Like we can't let the wires kind of connect to one another. And this one on the other hand is going to feed over here to this separate thing right there, right? And then this one here will feed to the ones that are not on the corner. So it'll feed to like this one. It'll feed to this one. It'll feed to that one. And it'll feed to the one behind. And so now what we have is actually the power of 600. Yeah, now we've got the power of 600 watts to play with. So let's pick what direction we want our electricity to go in. And it probably doesn't really matter. But, oh, no, 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 here's what matters. We got to make sure everything's pretty looking, right? Oh, let me get my light bulbs. We're going to get our light bulbs, and we're going to make sure everything looks pretty. Because if our base doesn't look sufficiently pretty, there, hey, there's, a, there's a minimum amount of prettiness. If the base doesn't meet it, then the zombies will make fun of us. And as you know, being socially shamed by zombies is one of the easiest ways to get owned by zombies. Like, that is a very important thing. Like, the zombies, we need to strike fear into the zombies, and it will cause less of them to attack. So let's put this one here. 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 And here. Okay, so where do I want the electricity to begin is the next question. Also, hopefully we have the distance. That is something I am worried about, is that it could be a little too far. How about right here? Let's just start it right here. Because I feel like this won't be too far. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to start this one. It doesn't need to be perfect. Whatever. Good enough. Let's see if we are able to get some electricity there. Or if the uh, or if the line won't go far enough. If the line won't go far enough, mm, I'll be slightly grumpy, but I won't be that grumpy. Oh, thank God it works. Okay, so now what we're going to do is orient all of these correctly. Fortunately, they don't take that long to pick up. Make sure they all look nice and neat. Okay, if that one's facing that way, this one will face this way there. Now it'll be symmetrical looking. Now we can reorient this one. Fortunately for us, that one's already facing the correct direction. Why can't I just get him to face forwards? It's always something, isn't it? Okay, that looks fine. So over here, we will change the facing. Yes, it matters. It matters, I tell you. It matters to me. Come on, can I please see the direction? Right there. It matters to me. <laughs> That's who it matters to. Too far. Good. Oh, that one's facing the right way. How convenient. Uh, this one. These ones are not facing the right way. Actually, did we just mess this up? 
I just realized that we might not be able to go in the... Well, actually, no, we can. We can just go in the opposite direction. Okay, so you're gonna go... Like that. And so will you. No, that should, this should be fine. I'm tripping myself out. Because that's right, this one is... Wait, did I trip myself out? I might have tripped myself out. Okay. Who is this going to be connected to? You're allowed to connect, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I guess what I'm getting tripped out by is whether or not this thing, whole thing, it, whether or not this entire line is going to have electricity. I mean, it should because they're all connected, right? So here's, I, all I got to do is see if this connects. Does this connect to that? It does. No, it didn't. Okay. So that, okay, I did, I did do, okay, so here's what we, we gotta, we gotta, can, we gotta, basically, we gotta start it where it ends. Oh no, 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 the spikes! Okay, I understand exactly which one has to be connected to what now. Alright, so for this to work, we have to connect it to, let, let's just disconnect all of these. Before I get super mondo tripped out. Basically, what we gotta do... Can I disconnect them both here? No. Okay, so we, we basically the start the, the starting location does matter. And since the starting location matters, we do have to we do have to wire it correctly. So basically, if you're wondering which one has to start it, this one has to start it. This one specifically does. Because it's gonna go around. And then it's going to wrap around, instead of connecting to this, it's going to move to that one. And that does raise the question of whether or not it is going to be able to... If the wire is going to go far enough. I am a little worried about that. If it doesn't work, I have two options. Step one, though, is to see if it will connect. If the wire will go far enough. Oh, please go far enough. Please go far enough. Oh, God. Out of the spikes. Please go far enough. Scoochie, scoochie, scoot. Oh, it goes far enough. Yes, yes, I always get to win. I'm just the winner. Just, oh my god, it goes far enough. Okay, let's orient these correctly. Now it's going to work for sure. Now we'll put this one down in that direction. And then now we'll see if this one's facing right. Nope. Gotta switch it around. And um, these ones also need to be rotated. Too bad you can't, like, rotate things while they're placed. Or if you can, I don't know how to do it. Because it's like, I don't necessarily want, I don't really want to disconnect it. I just want to, like, change its facing slightly. It's all good, though. As you can see, we're quickly starting to get this done. Once everything is in place, it's really not that big of a deal. And then I think these are already oriented correctly.
I think I got them backwards. Whatever. I don't care. They're 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 oriented in a way that I that sufficiently makes sense. I'm not gonna like constant. Maybe I'll do it off screen. This, and then over here. And then finally, we can connect it to that one. And we get to win. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so now what we're going to do is wire up all of these as well. And then what we're going to do is flip it on. And we'll see if all the lights turn on. If the lights turn on, then I will trust that the electrical current is running through the wires. And then we will see how much electricity we are losing and how much is remaining to hook up some of the blade traps. Because remember, each of these uses 5 watts and same with the lights. So the amount of wattage we're using is the quantity of energized electrical posts times 5 plus the amount of energized industrial lamps plus 5. right here looking good all right let's flip it on and see if we did it right i feel like we did do it right i will have faith in my amazing electrical work so none of the blade traps should come on because they're all disconnected look at that the lights are on yep you could see it and when it gets dark, you the lights are going to not only illuminate the zombies and make them easier to find, but they're also going to mean, like, and I, what I now know is anywhere there's a light, there is an electrical post there, and that's how I know where to go to repair them. Now what we need to do, let's check to see how much wattage we're using. So we're using 131, and each of the... Um, the blade trap used 20, so we can hook a few of them up. Let's go ahead and start with that. So to hook up the blade traps, we just have to borrow, we have to take from the corners. You know, you don't have to turn off the electricity either. It is not a requirement. And we can get started over here. I probably should have... There we go, that one's on. I prob to make this a little easier, I should just extend all of these. And we can borrow from what we remember to we gotta borrow from the corners to add to the same circuit, at least in this system. Once again, if, if you have a system that works a little differently, all you need is some way to differentiate them so that you're not like confused on which, because like I said, you can't tangle the wires up. We got to make sure the wires for the corner system do not get tangled up with the wires from the central systems. Now we were at 130-ish, so like, I, I, you know, we can connect a few of these up. It's not that big of a deal. Let's extend these. Let's just extend all of them. That'll make this way easier. Now you might ask, well, what happens if the electricity exceeds the total wattage? Well, it basically it'll just it just won't turn on. I mean, it'll turn on, but like you know, they're gonna lose power because basically what you're saying is these devices need more than 300 watts, and the thing that you're making it only it it only generates 300 watts, so it's not able to generate much more than that. Let me connect one more up, and then we'll see what we're at. Hey, can we please disconnect? There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do, let's see what our generator is up to to see how many more we can plug in. So we're up to 231, so we can plug in um, at least two more. 
So let's keep feeding from the taking from the corners. Now, if you wanted to, you could create separate systems just for each one of these. Like, for example, if you didn't want them to get kind of like borrowing electricity or, you know, if you didn't want half of the blades powered by a system and then the other half of the blades are powered by a separate system, you could make it where all of the blades are powered by one. As long as those, as long as those blades don't add up to over 300, but... But I'm just trying to get this to work. So, we can add one more, because each one is 20 watts, and we've got 271 on our power. So we can add one more in. I'm going to go for the one in the middle. Okay, now let's go check it out. This is a full day's of work, isn't it? Jeez. Already nighttime. Yeah, 291. So all I could do is maybe hook up like a few smaller things. But that's okay, because remember, we have the second system right here. So let's go ahead and flip that on. Now what we can do is pull from the middle relays. So let's go ahead and do that. Middle relay. And now I can just energize this one. And as you can see, it comes right on. And all we got to do is energize the ones on this side now. And by putting them down there, I feel like they're a lot more protected. Um, I mean, they're not... They're definitely, like... If the wall were to be destroyed, then sure, yeah, they would be... Get, they would get destroyed as well. But, you know... One... One thing at a time. Like, we could also go underground as well. Like, that's also an option. If you wanted to protect your relays, you could absolutely just put uh, the system underground. Like, just kind of tunnel underground and, um... Go... Basically go underneath the thing you're trying to energize. And then you could wire through the dirt. Like, you could do that. That would be a way to protect it. And I believe all the traps are online. Yeah. And as you can see, the line now goes through the blade, meaning they will get electrocuted kind of in range of the blades more more easily. Like where they get stunned should be more in range of the blades. And so I think this was a pretty simple improvement. And look at the lighting. Look at that lighting. And now, like I said, if you want to find out where you got to repair, that's where you got to repair. And now you have these nice little places to jump up in the event you need to get back onto the base. So overall, I think that's pretty nice. Uh, we are going to do something with the turrets. Um, I don't want this episode to be too long, so like, let me, let me uh, shut it down right here. But we will do something with the turrets. Let me gather them up real quick. Oh, speak the devil. Perfect. I've got a bad oh, you made it through. This. Well, the most important thing is we now know that it works. That's the important thing. Which is very nice. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to reclaim the turrets. I did figure out how to get the turrets to work. So to get the turrets to work, you got to plug them up. And you got to load them up. You click... When, when they are energized... Right now they're not energized. But when they're energized, you click the camera. And then you can aim its facing. But you got to lock the ammo in. Locking the ammo in is what arms the turret. And so we had it unlocked, meaning the turret was basically, um... It, it wasn't armed. Oh, I gotta repair it. Okay, fine. Re repair this stupid thing. I need mechanical parts. Of course I do. I do have a plan, though, for the, uh, the turrets. Let me get some mechanical parts out. Oh, once again, this was also something that we tried on Twitch. And it worked. I, I was happy with it. And I will, um... I want to do it in a way that it doesn't kill, like, every enemy possible. Because that kind of sucked that we didn't get... We didn't get... We lost a lot of EXP, but I'll, I'll show you what we will do. So what we're going to do is, um... Let me get the other turrets out. Because I know... I'm pretty sure we have... We, I just need four. Yep, we got four. 
So what I'm going to do is put a turret right here. I'm going to put a turret right here, facing this way. I'll put one here. And then I will put one here. And uh, I'm gonna wire. I'll, I mean, I could wire. Okay, let, let's just let's just let's do the job right. We're gonna. I'll wire them. Up. I'll show you what I'm planning on doing. Also, like I will get some. So let's get that energized. Let me get a bunch of nine millimeter ammo. Oh, we got plenty. Perfect. Let's get all of these turrets up. Remember, we got to draw from the middle ones because the corner relays are currently overloaded. Now, what these turrets are going to do is I'm going to design them to shoot down birds and boarders. Basically, anyone who tries to board the base will get shot down, and anyone who is a bird who tries to like interfere with me will also go get shot down and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to orient it. Like so. Now, I don't I don't want them to kill the zombies down below. I just want to I just want to be protected from So now you as you can see here 15 watts is in ye uh, yellow. That means it's energized. So now I can click the camera preview and I'm going to aim it like this. I don't want it to shoot anything except borders. Like, I don't want it to aim down here and kill the zombies down there. That's not what I want. I want it up like this. Like that. And then I can just load it up with some ammo. How about two stacks each? Lock it down, and it's armed. Now we'll do the same thing, because remember, the base is symmetrical, so... Like this. Two stacks of ammo, lock it in, and it's armed. And the yellow number does mean it's energized. Over here, two stacks of ammo. Go into the preview. Orient it so that it's like this, and it won't... It'll only kill borders. In fact, I might even do something like this. Maybe I'll even go like that. Eh, it probably doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. So basically, oh, also let's make sure we armed it. Lock the ammo in, make sure it's armed. And we'll put in two stacks of ammo, lock it in. Like that. And now, like I said, they're kind of like anti-aircraft guns aiming upwards. And then we'll double check them all. Locked with ammo. Locked, with ammo, facing upwards. Locked, with ammo, facing upwards. And the last one over here. Locked with ammo, facing upwards. So what's going to happen is, I'll show you, basically the idea is that as I'm fighting here, vultures might swoop in, but these are going to shoot all of the vultures down. And if I get, like, a Spider-Man attacking me, he will try to board. And then these guns are just going to shoot Spider-Man down. And then Spider-Man is going to have, you know, he's not going to have a fun time. He's going to think like, oh, you think the Fox Box is so good that I can't board it? And I'm going to be like, yeah, I do think the Fox Box is so good that you can't board it. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Over here, you can see the generator is using 146 watts. So not too bad. And, um, you know, we do need to refuel it, but we can power the system down. The system is good. Anyways, that's how it's done. And I guess you'll get to see it. We'll get to see if I can get it all to work. We'll see, because, you know, like at the end of the day, the theory crafting is fine. The, the big question is, how will the results be? And you'll just have to wait until tomorrow. Anyway, so tune in tomorrow to see some more Horde Day action, because it'll be day 49. I'm not going to record a daytime of day 49. I'm just going to skip right into, you know, basically... 
bam, the siege. It's going to be big. With the re-improved defenses, we'll get to see what's going on. Uh, maybe I'll even do something like add in some barbed wire, or I don't know. I might get a little crazy with it. Who knows? But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Tune in tomorrow, presumably tomorrow, unless I wind up getting interrupted by something, for the Day 49 Siege. Anyways, like the video, entertaining, subscribe for future 7 Days of Icon. Of course, remember that you want to be good to get good.